In this video, we're going to see how to install the Java Development Kit as well as Android Studio. So just go to Google and search for JDK. I'm going to go with the Java SE Development Kit 8. So if you go to the Java SE Development Kit 8 download, you'll see that you need to accept a license agreement there. And then uh, you can have a look at the newest update. So maybe this one would be a better one to go and get is the Java SE Development Kit 8U172. So it's update 172. Okay, so you, you can try and get the newest version then. So by installing the JDK, you're essentially installing Java, which is the programming language we're using uh, in these videos in order to program Android. Okay, so what you'll need is for your specific operating system, you need to basically download this JDK and install it on your system. So if you're using a Mac, it will be this download. If you're using a 32-bit machine, Windows machine, it's going to be that one. If you're using a 64-bit Windows machine, it's going to be this one. And then also there's Linux and Solaris and whatever type of operating system that you have on your system. Okay, so just make sure that you download this, one of these links for your specific operating system, and then install this first before you install Android Studio. So you can go and do that now. And then after that, we can go back and we're going to install Android Studio. So you're just basically typing in Android Studio there, go to the very first link there, and you can see it opens up the version for your specific PC. So you can see that I'm running on a Mac, so it gives me 313, that's the newest version currently, uh, that I need to download. So if I click on this now, I can download and I can install Android Studio. If you're looking for some other versions to download, let's go down a bit. You'll see that we've got Windows 64, but there you can download directly from here without the EXE installer to just download a folder there that you can run it from. Uh, you can download this file, or if it's Windows 32-bit, it's going to be this one for a Mac for Linux. So you can, you can choose uh, your specific operating system file that you want to download here. So just make sure that you install the JDK first before you install Android Studio. And when installing Android Studio, you'll see it goes through a lot of setup steps that you need to take in order to get that up and running. But it's straightforward. Uh, one of the first things it will do, try and do is to get you uh, the software development kit of Android Studio or of, of Android. And then from there on, you should be fine with Android Studio. So please go and install the JDK first and then Android Studio. And then we'll come back for the rest of this video. Right, so when you're done installing Android Studio, you should get to a window that looks like this. And you can see the version 3.1.3 is the version that I downloaded here for my Mac. Okay, so now this is, this is Android Studio. This is the first window that you'll get. And you can see on this window, you've got uh, an option to start a new Android Studio project. You can open an existing Android Studio project. You can check out from version control, profile, debug. Uh, you can import a project from, from Eclipse or Gradle. Yeah, you can import an Android code example. Then also, if you go to configure there, just move this up a bit. If you go to configure, you can see there's the SDK manager, which we will talk about now. There's also preferences, plugins, import settings, export settings, uh, settings repository. There's checking for updates. Uh, you can check for updates frequently to make sure that you're running the, the newest Android Studio. Also, that all of your libraries are up to date. So make sure you check up, uh, this frequently, although Android Studio will also notify you of new updates. So what we're going to go to now is the SDK manager. So you can click on the SDK manager. It will open up this window. And then this window is very important for you to keep updated. So you can see that you can check the show package details there. And then it gives you a list of all the platforms that you can install. So now you'll see that I did not install everything. You can see it's not installed and some of them are installed. So you can see that, for example, the Android API 28, I've installed the SDK platform. So this is one of the, the things that you should have for every type of platform uh, or every operating system. So it's Android API 28, which has not yet got a name there. It's Android P, but you can see there Android 8, which is Android O for Oreo. Uh, I've also got the platform there. So make sure that for every operating system or every platform that you've got the Android SDK platform installed so that you can actually code for that platform. So you'll see that, uh, that on any every one of them, I've got at least the platform and some sources on them, but uh, it's up to you for the sources. Uh, then also the Google APIs, make sure that you get them if they're available for that specific API. 
so you can see basically what I'm taking there is the SDK platform, the APIs, and if needed, some sources for the Android SDK. The rest of them, you can see that it's system images. So we'll look at this uh, in the next video uh, where we will create a virtual device. So the system image here is basically just an image for a virtual device. So that's a virtual phone that will run on your computer. So it's up to you how many of these you want to download. Obviously, if you've got a very big hard drive, then you can download a lot of these, uh, but it's not necessary. If you're using your own phone to test also, then you don't need as much of these system images. Okay, so it's up to you how many of these system images you want to take. For example, if you want to test your application running on, uh, running on a phone that is running Android 8.1, then you'll take one of these system images. So this is very important. Go and choose a few of them. I would recommend you take the one that says Google Play. That includes the Play Store and some support for Maps and so forth. Also, the Google APIs is a, good, uh, a nice one to take. Okay, so you can go through them and you can see I've checked a few of them there that's running on my system, but it takes up quite a big number of gigs on your system. Okay, so, so go and make sure that you at least download the Google APIs and the platform for every API, for every Android version. Okay, so this is the SDK platforms. If you go to SDK tools, uh, make sure that you check everything here. This is important to take everything here. Uh, well, not, not really everything here, but I think it's, it's the best if you can take everything here. It's not that big as it is with uh, this side. So just make sure that you take everything here. One of the, uh, the most important ones here is the Android support repository, the Google repository, the constraint layout, and uh, maybe the Google Play services. And uh, also the tools and the platform tools. So there's a lot of things here that you should actually take. Um, I'm having trouble installing the debugging tools, uh, which doesn't give me a problem really. Um, I just can't install it, I don't know why. But uh, try and take everything under SDK tools. Okay, so if you're done with that, just let your Android Studio run and do all the updates and make sure that you've got all the platform tools and everything installed. And then we can start with the next video where we will start a new Android Studio project.